Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One Overview video series. Today, we're going to be looking at purchasing, and specifically, we're going to be looking at AP Credit Memo. So let's go over here and look on our menus and modules down here on the left-hand side and go under our purchasing. And we can see that down here at the bottom, I have a AP Credit Memo. So let's go take a look at that and see what we've got going on in the system here. So we can see that when I click on that, just like always, I'm presented with a blank uh, memo here. I could go in and I could manually fill this out if I wanted to do an AP credit memo, but let's take a look at some of the other options that we might have available. So if I scroll back to the previous document, we can see here that here was an AP credit memo that was already added in. I could right click and I could go duplicate if I wanted to, very simply and easily duplicating this existing document. But what I'm going to do is we're going to go to a blank one here and let's go look at our AP credit memo and let's put in one of our vendors and see what we have that we can start working with. So let's go look here at our Far East Imports as one of our vendors and I'm going to go down here to my copy from. So under my copy from I could do my and look at my AP invoices and we can see I have quite a lot of AP invoices that are within the system. Now let's say that I want to provide an AP credit memo on one of these because I want to be able to, uh, even though I sent out the invoice to the customer, I'm going to do a credit memo based on that uh, because I want to bring it back in. So like many times that you've seen in the past, Draw Document Wizard is created here. I can customize this or I can draw all data. We're going to draw all that data over and we're going to see uh, what we have within the system here. And there we are. I have my item here for my AP credit memo. I have my dates uh, that I've been provided in the system and the item that this is. As always, all of my logistical information, all of my accounting information is automatically pulled over and I can very simply then easily add that on into the system uh, so that I now have my credit memo. Let's go back to that last one that we just did. Here we are. Let's right click and go down to that relationship map so you can see all of the good information that was created here. Purchase order to a purchase request, purchase request to a goods receipt, goods receipt to an AP invoice, an AP invoice to an AP credit memo. Now, based on the GL accounting structure that you have within the system there over to this accounting, we can see that I can look at the accounting of exactly where is the journal entry and what's happening with this. So I can drill in, I can look at that journal entry, I can see exactly where my debits and where my credits are coming from within the system here. So it makes it very simple and easy from an accounting point of view to be able to manage this credit memo transaction and put it into the exact GL account that I want. Thank you very much for listening to my overview video today.